What's going on YouTube? You're soldering the wires, the horn. Alright, these are not push pin um, connectors. So uh, you have to solder the wires onto the metal tabs. Alright, so that's what I'm doing here, soldering the wire onto the capacitor. So uh, nothing moves. Test it out, see how it's doing. All right. I'm not sure how much wire I'm going to need for the truck, so I know, um, shouldn't be that much, maybe about this much. So I'll go ahead and check this. and I might need uh, about this much to connect to my other horns. Order. This is good enough. As long as it's connected. Not going anywhere. Alright, so I already have it hooked up to my amplifier. I'm using a Behringer Euro Pro EP2000. Alright, so it's probably about 500 watts per channel at 8 ohms. So I'm gonna hook it up to the horn, just one of them. We're gonna see how loud it can get. Alright, loud and clear that it is not distorted. Alright, so this will give me a good idea because I won't turn it that much in the truck so I won't really know for sure what it's really capable of. Alright so as you can see it there you go the DS18 alright it's a neonadium so it's a really small magnet as you saw in my last video with the PRV the magnet was about the size of my hand alright so this is nice small and compact alright so very light Maybe a pound or two, not even. All right, so let me get this stable here. Keep it from moving. And um, put this amplifier back in. The sound system in the lab right now. It's inside the house, so uh, I can't really hook it up to the crown like I did with the PRV. But uh, I have enough power right here. This should be able to do it. All right, just a Rockville preamp. It does have an EQ, so I don't have a crossover unit like I do on the sound system that I did with the PRV. But this still has a crossover here, it has treble mids and bass, so I should be able to uh, tune it just right by taking all the, all the bass out and just leaving the mids and the treble. And that should give me a good, clear signal to let me know how this thing really works, alright? Alright, so I have my SPO. Test it here, we're gonna see how loud it gets. 
I'm gonna try to at least get it three quarter ways. If I can get fully open on this, then uh, that'll be good. All right, that'll be good enough for me. Cause um, with the horn, a horn is louder than a like a woofer would be, because uh, you know the speaker or whatever it doesn't throw as far as the horn. Horns throw further, so with the horn you can be at 60 watts and the speaker would have to be at about 250 watts to compete with that horn. Alright, so horns are definitely louder, so even if you see a horn that's 150 watts max, believe me, you would need a 500 watt speaker to compare to that horn. Alright, so horns are definitely louder than a woofer would be, okay? Okay, so let me find something here that's uh, YouTube safe. And uh, let me get this show on the road. Alright. So this is about 500 watt amplifier here. And by the way, this amplifier is for sale on uh, Macari. Macari app. It's a selling site. I am selling this amplifier. Alright, for about 350 So you can check that out. Alright. Um, anything, send me an offer and I'll consider it. Alright. But it is for sale. I just took it out the rack uh, yesterday, so, you know, it's not scratched up in the front or anything. There's a little bit of scratches on the top from putting them inside the rack and such, but the front is nice and clean. Uh, the amplifier has never left the house, so it's, it's, it's very good, all right? It's not dusty, not smoked, none of that, all right? I keep my stuff nice and clean. All right, so uh, let's get on with it and see, all right? Find a song here. Mm -hmm. Let's see what this is. I did get to three quarter way. I think that's as uh, much as I can take it. And we hit about 102. All right, so this little thing right here, don't sleep on it, all right? This thing is pretty powerful. I don't think I will play it that loud in my uh, in my truck, all right? I'll be, uh, I'll be deaf doing that. So it can pretty much handle what I need it to handle. I just wanted to make sure that it can uh, keep up with the PRV because the PRV is very strong as well. As you watched my last video where I made it, uh, I tested on the Crown 3600 and I got pretty high with the volume also. Alright, and that was hooked up to the sound system. So I'm going to run this back one more time and uh, let you see. I'll use, I'll use this one so you can see the frequency what it's hitting. to see the frequency.
But it's very clear as well. It's not. It's not at this uh, distorted uh, point yet. So uh, I would. I would say that this thing is well worth the money. All right. So this is the DS18 right here. And uh, let me get to the model number. All right. So here's the model number again. All right. This is the Pro DKN25. All right. And it's rated at 60 watts RMS and 100 and uh, I think 60 watts peak. No, 120 watts peak. But we're getting way more than that. All right, because this amplifier is about 500 watts per channel. All right, and uh, it is at 8 ohms, but it's actually can be used for a sound system as well. All right, so. Don't think because uh, tweeters or horns says uh, for car audio that you can't use it for um, for sound systems, but they are 8 ohms. Alright, so don't let the name fool you. Just because it's a car product, you can use them for a sound system as well, alright? Because they all produce sound, and as long as your ohms are right, you can go ahead and use it, alright? So these are rated at 8 ohms. So in a way that's pretty good because what you can do is you can connect four of them and drop them down to two ohms, right? And connect them to your car audio, all right? And same way you can do it with the sound system. You could connect two of them and drop it down to four ohms and play your amplifier nice and clean, all right? So I'll be playing them at two ohms because I'm going to connect the PRVs uh, to these and um, you'll be running at two ohms off one channel of a of a scar amplifier all right so I'm gonna go ahead and go put these in the truck and I might show you what it looks like how I got them all right all right then catch you on the next one thanks for watching please subscribe like and please share the knowledge all right uh, my heater furnace just came on so uh, it's kind of loud catch you on the next one so real quick before my battery dies, I just had to charge it for about five minutes because I want to get this done before it starts raining. Alright, so I did go ahead and put back the other head unit in there because this one sounds way better. Alright, so when you're doing a system build, just make sure you have a good uh, head unit. I mean, that's going to be the brains of the operation, so get the most decent one that you can afford. Don't put a cheap head unit and good amplifiers and expect good results. Alright, that's not going to work. All right, so just a quick tour of what I got going on here. All right, so I got that Kenwood Exelon head unit. I got a SCAR. All right, that's the voltage meter. All right, so let me just uh, turn this on real quick. You can see what's going on here. All right, so I have a switch to turn the system on. I hit that and everything comes along. Yeah. Can't have any uh, audio otherwise it's going to be cut. Alright, so uh, yeah, that's what I got going on there. Alright, and in the doors I have some DS-18s. Alright, so this is my work truck so I don't really worry about it. Alright, I'm going to tear it up in this much ways as I possibly can but everything right now is just temporary put together just to uh, give me an idea of how I want to better install things but um, this is to my liking so I really don't care professional or not this is what I got going on alright so here's another SCAR unit alright 
right, this might equalize in here. All right, this is upside down, I know, but when I fold it down, let me show you. When I fold it down, I can control it as I need to. All right, or I can get it out of the way, just like that. Alright, so up here I have the horns. Alright, as you can see, I just installed this one. Alright, these are the PREs. Alright, here's the bad boy there. Some scars. Alright, scar 12s. Alright, these are bangers, alright? So, I have all these mid range and everything to go along with that sub. That sub is a killer. Alright, and see right here I have DS18, I have a Scar Tweeter. Let's see what it looks like right there. Alright, I'll show you on the inside what it looks like. So from the inside looking in, 